Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the uh, meeting, May 21st, 2024. Um, for as for the approval of the agenda, I will need to amend the agenda for the uh, council to go into closed session to for the purpose of consulting with the attorney. So we'll add that to the beginning of the agenda. Is there a motion to adopt the agenda as amended? I make a motion we adopt the agenda as amended. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Any comments? Motion approved. Oh, all in favor. I'm sorry. All in favor? Is that four to one? Yep. For, um, I feel like this needs to be at the end and not the beginning. Four, four to one uh, in the. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll move next door. Yes, please. the agenda Make a motion Make a, to, go ahead. to amend the agenda to remove the closed session minutes for this evening we have a motion is there a second second discussion all in favor motion passes mayor I have a would like to make a motion to um, Schedule a work session for May 30th, please, at 6 p.m. To have a work session May 30th, 6 p.m. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Motion passes. Thank you. Mayor, you Board. didn't um, ask or opposed. Oh. I didn't. Do you need? He didn't ask if anyone was opposed because I only had four hands up. Anyone opposed? Oh. Motion passes. Four to one. Proposed okay. budget. Uh, FY25. And training. Manager Moore. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Board of Commissioners. Tonight represents the last scheduled presentation that the uh, staff has for board consideration. And so we're going to put before you the proposed travel and training budget for the governing board. Uh, uh, can we please include all of the boards, all of the different um, departments? I'll, I'll just be asking about them. That's, so. that's fine. Okay, thank you. Um, so the, the, um, what the outline for tonight's presentation is to give uh, outline of or the basic of what uh, the budget is that's uh, being put before the board for their consideration. Uh, we're looking for board feedback on the budget. Uh, as we did with the strategic plan, we fully expect that you will give us some feedback on uh, procedures and policy, although you don't need to make a decision on that tonight. As you'll see with the budgeted amount, that that will be something that you should consider in the future. As far as the budget itself, uh, the budget has been increased from what was in the FY24 budget. So in FY24 budget, what we proposed before you was $20,000. That's been increased to 32500 the basis for that budget is we're assuming that uh, you'll need $2,500 to train a clerk, depending upon their uh, certification and credentials. There's $4,000 in there reserved for dues and events. So examples of that, um, you've uh, joined uh, the North Carolina Black um, elected municipal officers as well as uh, women in municipal government. Events, examples of that, you are, are largely associated with the Wake Mayors Association. 
And so you've got events where you sponsor. An example of that is the annual uh, mayor's outing, Wake Mayor's outing at Five County Stadium. So those are examples of dues and events. What we broke down and just put before you for consideration is of the remainder amount, 6,000 for the mayor and 4,000 for each commissioner. Depending upon how uh, much travel and training uh, you are interested in or you are required to do, depending upon if you are a member of a uh, national organization, for example, those budget amounts may not be enough. And um, so I'll give you the breakdown for that. So as an example, if you were to an, attend a national conference, uh, we're expecting that that's going to be a minimum of $2,800 by the time you consider the cost of the conference, given that these national conferences more often than not, uh, almost exclusively are out of state. So there would be airfare and of course hotel. Your state conferences are running around uh, $1,500. So a city vision as an example, and that includes a, a minimum cost for the conference and the hotel. And then the continuing education, depending upon the number that you sign up for, we've put in front of you as far as a, a sliding scale. So um, 350 is what the going rate is for the essentials of local government. Uh, at least four of you have been involved in the, um, in the uh, uh, Pella program, and that runs as high as $875. So depending upon how much uh, and what type of continuing education that can be the basis for that. So when you go back to what we've included in the budget, uh, 6,000 assuming for the mayor, 4,000 for each commissioner. If you did um, the, the top level of the continuing education, you did a state conference and you did a national conference, um, that would exceed uh, what's in the budget. So some conversations I think from a policy standpoint are before you later down the road about uh, um, how you divide that. Do you want to guarantee that everybody goes to a national conference as an example or do you limit that to someone who is on a, on a committee? The thing to talk about that's most relevant tonight is how much to budget. Uh, given a, uh, based upon what your requirements are as well as your interests. So with that, we'll take any feedback that the board may have. Any questions or comments from the board? Commissioner Harrison? Sure. Commissioner Clark? No. Commissioner Davis? No, not at this time. Commissioner Miles? No, at this moment. Commissioner Baxter? I'm fine with that, knowing that at some point there might need to be a budget adjustment if there are um, additional expenses that arrive, although I think that this is probably what we should expect. And we take a look at what the amended budget was for FY24. Mayor, that concludes our present our formal presentation for tonight. Um, we remain available for if the board members have any other questions regarding the FY25 budget in advance of their public hearing scheduled for June 3rd. Yes. Um, so the admin department has a training budget of $42,300, and I'm not sure what what exactly the thoughts are because the admin department is a little bit smaller what kind of training that that's going to entail what what that makes up so if i could have some direction with that please sure um the admin budget for travel and training um, also includes training for um, the entire staff uh, within the town when we are assigning um, whether it's um, uh, discrimination, DEI, 
all of those kinds of trainings come out of that budget it does not count out of individual department budgets we also have a the ability to send supervisors for training a budget for that so that when individuals are promoted they're given the opportunity to go to supervisory training especially if they've never been a supervisor before some of that's through the school of government some through some other locations as well it also includes training for communications it includes training for the HR staff as well as the town manager it also had training for the IT director and conferences we have Chris Ray you've got two different travel and training my check please I'm so sorry my check is it really not working so there's two different travel and training pots and I think that I might understand it but I'd rather have your explanation because there's one for 18,000 and there's one for just under under 25 is is one of those to do with the stormwater well no man we have two departments we have first of all we have the property management division and then we also have the operations division so basically what we do is the department supervisors within the department get budgeted a thousand dollars a year for their travel and training regular employees get 750 what you see is a little bit larger number because the last year we had to start CDL training could not be done in-house so I have to go outside to a commercial vendor to get for CDL commercial drivers like yeah 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 okay for our guys to drive a large truck over 26,000 pounds so the last couple years we have been well this past year was the first year and this next coming year will be the second year where we can take our guys if they don't have class CDL license get them a CDL license to drive our truck and it also is a part of our career ladder program as our guys become supervisors and crew leaders they have to have a class a which class a means they can pull a trailer with a gross vehicle weight of 26,000 pounds or greater and then is the the engineering department that's you to this year as well right okay okay I just wanted to make sure that that's how I was reading that and if I was reading it correctly I don't have any issue with the two thousand dollars for that thank you so much for the clarification I don't know if we had discussed or about um, doing something for our appointed boards some some type of appreciations there's money money, budgeted. money allocated for that sir. it's money yes okay. sir. Um, I know we had talked about uh, uh, maybe uh, having a family night or something for them at the uh, Mudcat Stadium mm -hmm. um, Lee says you've been the one historically to have coordinated that I know that we have the use of the suites and um, do you know what the associated cost is for hot dogs and sodas I know a soda now is like four hundred and fifty dollars each so I have to imagine it's going to be rather pricey in the past when we have done this we have done individual boards have gone separately um, so that they can you know there's not enough space to do all the boards at the same correct time. correct so um, I want to say it has been around seven hundred dollars uh, in the past for food but it's probably been four years since we've done it so I don't know what the cost would be but I don't know that it would be a whole lot more than that um, depending on what you have for food so if we've got three appointed boards and we allocated eight hundred and fifty dollars we could probably make it work for that we could come close for sure I can check into it tomorrow and I can get a price for for the next work session could you could you do that okay awesome 
the may or june may okay. may please for the may 30th seven hundred. I, I said eight i said 850 but she's going to find out what it might realistically cost and then i'm assuming like we had discussed this before and i think that i have seen <clears throat> Some of the departments utilize um, the suites and the tickets this year, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I just want to make sure that, that each department is able to take advantage of that should they want to. I think that there's plenty of home stands in order for us to do that, yeah? Probably not. Okay. Um, because depending on um, the departments and, and how it's done, um, we only get one suite per home stand. Right. So, um, you know, I'm not sure that we there would be sufficient time to do it for the rest of the year. There may be. I don't know about the home stands. I don't have a calendar okay. in front of me of what it is. But, you know, um, we do have tickets available if they wanted to um, take some of their staff and, um, and, and that kind of thing. So, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, comments from the board? Um, I have a question under page 43. It looks like we are um, budgeting $20,000, and it says National Register Historic District. Um, are we being charged a fee by SHPO or by someone to partake in the historic district or have that designation or is that just for the our building that is designated no that's actually going to be part of a study to evaluate the expansion of the national historic district to include the barbie street corridor and possible additional landmark buildings along um, uh, shepherd school road park buildings with that cover uh, it's still going to be determined. There has to be an evaluation done before we can actually submit the proposal to State Historic Preservation Office. Um, each of those buildings will be evaluated on an individual basis. So that's a sh study for Barbie Street, Shepherd School, just those two locations or any, any additional? Just those two locations for that amount. Okay. All right. And... Um, is that going to include any subsequent application fees if we choose to move forward with that, or that's just solely for the study cost? If we isolate just for the Barbie Street corridor, that has the potential to be both the application cost as well as the study. However, there's been some discussion about expanding it up to the Shepherd School area, and if that's the case, then it'd be just for the study. Okay. Got one question. Commissioner Miles. So once the study is completed, what will that information will work with along with uh, current preservation in Zebulon and then? I'm sorry, can you speak into the microphone? I can't hear you. With the, once the study is complete, what will, the what will we utilize the information for to work with our current preservation in Zebulon to come together with that? Or how would that work? Oh, we work with Wake County Historic Preservation to move forward with Uncle that. Okay, Wake County, gotcha. Yeah, and I hopefully will work with um, uh, preservation Zebulon, but it'd be in collaboration with Wake County Historic Preservation because it would not only be a national, but it would be a local landmark as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and when we talk about the Main Street Conference and training requirements um, and that has a ten thousand dollar price tag is that just going to the north carolina main street program or is that not also include travel to the national main street program that's just north carolina and so who would that all entail that would include the uh, our Main Street Board, mm -hmm. um, as well as let me get back to that line. 
I believe we have a second a separate line item to send our Main Street coordinator, um, but that's primarily for our Main Street board to attend. Okay, and so we've discussed in the past that as this Main Street program kicks off, they're going to be shouldering more of the costs of this program and their attendance at these um, events. Do we have a timeline as far as when we're going to be transitioning some of those costs back onto the board? I realize that they haven't done a whole lot of fundraising as of yet, but is there a plan? Do we have like a three-year plan, a five-year plan? That hasn't been discussed as of yet. Thank you. Any other questions, comments from the board? Um, I think that m I'd like to understand what the Main Street promotions line item is. Sorry, Mike. What page? Still on it's, it's still on page 43. tying into some of the events that we do downtown or is this something different? Is this like an educational campaign? Okay, yeah, that, um, that does include some of the, uh, the events in downtown, uh, the marketing materials, the, as well as assisting with some of the stuff that the Parks and Recreation Department does in terms of those activities. That's not exclusively for uh, Main Street. Okay. But it's for activities and events within the Main Street boundaries. Okay. Um, we've had a lot of um, interest in making sure that we um, do some kind of parade around the Christmas um, and winter holidays. And so would that hit the downtown Main Street line item or where would that need to be um, added? That's going to depend upon who's the organizing agency. Historically, that's been the Chamber of Commerce that's taken that on. Um, but that is going to be a multidisciplinary event that's going to go well beyond just the Main Street board. Okay. And so we need to perhaps get some kind of idea and maybe that's a question that can be asked of John Saffold and the players that we had in past years as far as what the cost of that event is because I suspect that the chamber is not going to assist us this year. And so just to have an idea of what that might look like um, for us so that we make sure that we um, put something into the budget and then it would be upon us to um, get some committees and some support from the community if we're going to continue going down that path but I'd like to have an idea of what that might cost us and that would be something that I'm sure um, Public Works and the Police Department and the Fire Department all had would have to weigh in on. Um, what, what road did I park in rec plate? I think I wrote park in rec plate a road in that as well, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parks and Rec. You said that? Okay, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I think I didn't park. So, so an estimate cost of possible yes. parade. Yes. Threat. When do we want that? Next work session? Yeah, if that's possible, that would be that would be wonderful because that's the time for us to explore that before we get to the 
a public hearing on the third? Yeah. Does that sound good to the rest of the board? Yes. Okay. That may be a challenge for me to get that number. I'm going to be gone to a funeral for the remainder of this week. And that is okay. I'm not asking the planning department to shoulder that. Certainly, I know that you have great members of staff that maybe could help track down that number. That doesn't have to be shouldered by you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And just to circle back one more time before we start stop talking about travel and training, um, I think that I understood that like um, BMO applications and WIMAGE applications, all of that's been rolled into the the different. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Any other questions, comments from the board? Hearing none. Is there a motion to adjourn? To adjourn. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Meeting adjourned.